15 reasons the Queen will have to reject Prince Harry's kids. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are on everyone's radar right now. That's because they've managed to become the royal family's it couple, so to speak. They are young, they are compassionate, they are gorgeous together and most importantly, they are in love. So naturally, people can't help but wonder when these two crazy kids are going to start having children of their own. I mean, Prince George and Princess Charlotte could use a play date, right? And while everyone is going to be waiting on pins and needles for Meghan Markle's pregnancy announcement, we've got news for you, Harry and Meghan's children won't be on the priority list for Queen Elizabeth. And we know exactly why. Yes, Meghan and Harry's family is now going to be gossip fodder, but they won't be as important as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their children. With that being said, We've got 15 reasons why Queen Elizabeth might one day have to reject Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's future children. Now, that's not to say that she doesn't like them or that she'll love them less than Kate and William's kids. Instead, it's just that they won't be as important. Check out our list below and let us know what you think. Prince William's children will always come first. It doesn't matter how many different ways you can put it. Prince William and his children will always come first. As the future King of England, William and Kate's children will have first dibs no matter what. And there's no changing the rulebook when it comes to that fact. Queen Elizabeth will have to reject Prince Harry's children just because there are three royal children that will always come ahead of them, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and their future brother or sister, do sometime this year. Speaking about his desire to become a father, Harry has said, I've longed for kids since I was very, very young. And so. I'm waiting to find the right person, someone who's willing to take on the job. Um, he's talking about you, Meghan. Your move. Kate Middleton's power grab. Let's face it, Kate Middleton is one member of the royal family who absolutely loves being in the spotlight. There's no denying that the Duchess of Cambridge shines the most whenever all eyes on her. She loves the cameras and she loves all of the attentions she gets for being Prince William's one and only wife. And she's very territorial about it, too. Meghan Markle will have a hard time fighting for media attention, especially with Kate Middleton in the way. Kate can grab that power all she wants, but at least Meghan knows where her heart is. She once said in an interview, My parents came from little, so they made a choice to give a lot buying turkeys for homeless shelters at Thanksgiving, delivering meals to people in hospices, giving spare change to those asking for it. Sounds like the perfect people's princess to me. Meghan Markle's American Background There's the fact that Meghan Markle is an American. Unlike Kate Middleton, she didn't come from an upper-middle-class British family with London connections. Prince Harry had to travel halfway around the world to find the woman of his dreams. Meghan was born and raised in Los Angeles and her parents divorced when she was just a wee toddler. Meghan didn't have the same upbringing that the royals, or even Kate Middleton, had. Still, Meghan seems undeterred. She once said, It's all about balance, and I have so much happiness in my career and am fortunate to travel the world and see so many amazing things, it will also be nice to be anchored to something grounded and in the same place. Raising a family will be a wonderful part of that. They have a long shot for the throne. Technically speaking, Prince Harry's kids have a long shot for the throne. That's because there are so many people ahead of them. First up, you've got Queen Elizabeth, who doesn't look like she's going anywhere. Then you've got Prince Charles, and Prince William and his entire family. And if that wasn't enough, Prince Harry is in front of his kids, too. A lot of the important members of the British royal family would have to be wiped out for any of Harry's kids to take the throne. It's just not going to happen. But does this really matter? Perhaps not. Because a lot of royal observers will say that Harry doesn't even want the title of king. He's got all the perks of being a royal without having to actually do the job. Prince William's King Status Let's also keep in mind that Prince William is Prince Charles and Princess Diana's eldest son. Sure, Prince Harry might be the more popular, lovable royal but it's Prince William who is going to one day shake up the palace. According to some reports, many Brits even want William to take the throne ahead of his father, Prince Charles. 
they see him as better prepared for the job. Whatever the case, Megan knows that she's got the better half. She's marrying one of the most eligible bachelors in the world. She once put it this way, kindness is the number one quality I look for in a man. You can see it in how he treats anyone, from a CEO to a housekeeper, and it's a reflection of how nice a guy is. Funniness and confidence come after that. When a guy approaches me, it's fantastic if he can make me laugh. Prince George's Influence there's no denying that Prince William and Kate Middleton's son Prince George is full of character. Not only is he stinkin' cute, but he's got quite the toddler attitude to match, too. He might only be a preschooler, but he knows what he wants and chances are, he gets it, too. The world is incredibly fascinated with Prince George mostly because of his dynamic personality and his ability to steal his parents' thunder. I mean, he doesn't even know how to properly hold a fork and spoon yet and the Todd is already one of the most influential royals in the world. Also, George is a royal fashionista, too. Murray Lambell, vice president of trading at the e-commerce brand told Harper's Bazaar, the royal family is hugely popular with British buyers with Her Majesty regularly attracting the attention of shoppers. But it's the youngest generation of royals who really generate the must-have fashion items and are driving a new generation of shopping behavior on eBay. Princess Charlotte's Net Worth Speaking of royals with influence, Princess Charlotte isn't far behind her brother Prince George. Kate Middleton is one of the most stylish women in the world, so it doesn't surprise anyone that Charlotte is already walking in her mother's footsteps. According to reports, Princess Charlotte already has a net worth in the billions. That's because many parents want their little toddlers to look just like her. For example, the yellow sheep printed cardigan that Charlotte wore for her last birthday portrait sold out within seconds of her being photographed in it. Simply put, the world has been mesmerized by the Charlotte effect. Brand Finance's marketing and communications director Robert Hay told Marie Claire, this is actually as simple as the relative size of the men's and women's fashion markets by which I mean that Charlotte's endorsement effect will likely be felt across a much broader range of products and brands or types of clothing than George's will, allowing a greater scope for the monetization of her brand and hence a higher value. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are less important. Yes, the world is very fascinated by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and their relationship. Very few people predicted that Prince Harry would actually fall in love with an American Hollywood actress. But lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. And while Harry and Meghan are making every major gossip and tabloid magazine covers all over the world, they aren't as important in Queen Elizabeth's size. That's because Prince William and Kate Middleton come first. Also, Prince William has been preparing for his future role as the king his entire life. He once said, all these questions about do you want to be king? It's not a question of wanting to be. It's something I was born into and it's my duty. Wanting is not the right word. But those stories about me not wanting to be king are all wrong. They will be like Eugenie and Beatrice. Here's a sad reality, unlike Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, Princess Eugenie and her sister Princess Beatrice have actual royal blood running through their veins. But for some reason that we just can't explain, they have been rejected by the media. That's because royal fans simply don't care too much for them. In other words, they are second-tier royals and there's a strong possibility that Prince Harry's future children might be just like them. Also, Eugenie likes to brush off her status as though it isn't very important to her, even though it is. She has said, how do I play the princess thing? I don't, really. I don't like talking about it much and find it annoying when people say things like, oh, you're the princess. One of my best friends jokingly says, Hi, princess, and I say, shut up. It is one of the things that bugs me most in the world. But there will be more public interest. Of course, we don't know what the future holds for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. We can only guess. Heck, we don't even know if Meghan will get pregnant during her first year of marriage, as anything can happen at any time. But what we do know is that there is going to be keen public interest in Meghan and her first pregnancy. During their first joint interview together, Meghan and Harry admitted that they have babies on the mind. Harry said, of course. You know, 
one step at a time. Hopefully, we'll start a family in the near future. Megan, meanwhile, nodded her head in agreement. It's also important to note that the couple's future children will have the title Lady or Lord. This is due to a letters patent that King George V passed in 1917. Plus, Prince Harry will be an awesome dad. And yes, Prince Harry will be an awesome dad. We might as well make that a fact because we've seen the royal in action. There's no denying that he loves children and he loves being around children, too. That's why so many people are eagerly waiting to see him in his future role as a father. A lot of people even think that he's going to be such a great hands-on dad, that he'll end up making his brother Prince William look bad. Plus, Harry has made it no secret that he can't wait to get Meghan pregnant. He once said pretty bluntly, I get a huge buzz from spending time with kids. And we believe it, too. Get working, you two crazy, wild, royal kids. We want to see some babies soon. And he is the Queen's favorite. Sure, Prince William is the more influential brother. He's the first one to have gotten married, the one that makes all the headlines for his royal engagements, and the brother who will become the future King of England. With all of that being said though, Prince Harry is Queen Elizabeth's favorite grandson. And no, you did not hear that from us. I mean, we've all seen that video of Prince Harry and Queen Elizabeth talking smack with President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama before the Invictus Games, right? Clearly, Her Majesty loves spending time with her adorable grandson. Their interaction was just too cute for words. Prince Harry once said, there's a lot of times that both myself and my brother wish, obviously, that we were just completely normal. Well, he and his N. Kate Middleton refuses to give up the spotlight. Another reason why Queen Elizabeth might have to push Prince Harry's children to the side is that there's no way Kate Middleton will be giving up the spotlight. We're seeing it already. For years the Duke and Duchess have been called the most twerkallergic couple in the monarchy's history. But now that Meghan Markle is in the picture, Kate Middleton is stepping up her workload. We've never seen so much of her in public before. Clearly, Kate Middleton is feeling threatened, at least from the media's perspective. We are going to see more of this behavior once Meghan Markle's kids enter the picture, too. The Duchess of Cambridge will remind everyone that Prince George and Princess Charlotte came first. And she will do whatever it takes to prove it, too. Watch this space. But the Queen won't bend the rules. As much as Queen Elizabeth loves her grandson Prince Harry and absolutely adores him, there's no way that she is going to bend the rules. There's a reason why the British monarchy has lasted this long. They are all about their rules and regulations and of course, perseverance. Without it, they wouldn't be where they are today. Now, it will be interesting to see if Prince William's own attitude towards royal life might change once he is in charge. As we all know, he sometimes acts like he doesn't even want the job. He once said in the past, I am and always will be an HRH. But out of personal choice, I like to be called William because that is my name and I want people to call me William, for now. Meghan Markle is an outsider. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's kids will never get first dibs because yes, Meghan Markle is an outsider. And that's just something you can't erase. A lot of royal critics will even admit that the royal family has a very us versus them mentality in the monarchy. And for someone like Meghan Markle, she is going to have to work very hard to fit in. That is, if they will let her fit in at all. Now, that's not to say that Meghan Markle's life is now destroyed forever. Sure, she will have her struggles and oftentimes it will feel like an uphill battle. If you thought that trying to fit in with your partner's family was hard, just think of what Meghan has to deal with. Everything that she's ever known, loved, or done in her life is now a mere memory of the past. As a future princess, she's got to start all over. As an outsider, she will have to work twice as hard for her family 